It was an old Bible. I now look at the dream and I know what God was speaking to me. You haven't had the word of the Lord, but now I am giving you the word of the Lord. These women were coming to hear the book of Esther be taught. There's a mass Esther movement that is coming from the women of America. And in this dream, a woman stood up and teaching the book of Esther. And she says, and these two words in the book of Esther actually mean Nazgul. Yeah, you didn't watch the movie either. The third part of the Lord of Rings. The Nazgul were the nine ring race, destroying the armies of men. Remember the movie? And this ring race, which is the witch king, said, no man can kill me. But in the dream, the princess takes off her helmet, lets her hair down, and says, I am no man. Bam! She pierces the demonic. I woke up from the dream and instantly I knew it. There are certain principalities and powers in America that can only be broken by women. You must end the death, the witchcraft, the abortion of a generation. Your voices, the mothers who guard the womb, must be raised up for the seed that is coming. There is a war over the woman, and the woman is to tread the head of the serpent. I want you to also notice that he appeals quite a bit to dreams and visions that he has. So again, he's getting a lot of his direction or his guidance in his life and in doing these things through dreams and visions. And there is that appeal there and seeing that this woman that is ministering from the book of Esther. And then uh, he's making this appeal to a movie, to the Lord of the Rings. And he's inserting that this woman says that a certain uh, word in the book of Esther means Nazgul. But that's not even a biblical understanding of that. He's inserting something from a movie. And so I, I think it's a fair question to ask. And I know that there's people that, that will be upset at asking these types of questions. But we need to get back to Scripture and, and not exegete the Lord of the Rings, um, as this is a pattern, that apparently, that we're seeing. So as an apostolic team with the authority that God's given to us, we decree and declare that racism will end. It's over in the ecclesia from this night forward in Jesus' mighty name. Let's lift it up and bang it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, give him a praise over. We need to get back to scripture. This is where we're getting off. This is where things are getting way off track and we uh, beyond what they already are in this movement. And so we've got to get back to understanding scripture in the proper context. But he is referencing Lord of the Rings, the Nazgul, that scene where the woman pierces um, the Nazgul's head with her sword. And he's basically um, applying that meaning to the women today and saying, you're going to be like that woman and that the women are rising up and that they're going to have influence over the demonic and that women are uh, necessary in order to bring down demonic principalities and powers. That is nowhere in scripture, ladies, nowhere. It's elevating you to a platform that you don't have. 